Hello students, today is Wednesday, it's April 22nd, which means that today is Earth Day. If you remember, we talked a little bit about Earth Day the last time we saw each other. We were going to start creating a Earth Day poster that we were all going to create together. Since we are not together right now, we weren't able to finish our poster, but it's okay because we could still celebrate Earth Day. So Earth Day is celebrated on April 22nd like today. It has been celebrated for the last 47 years. So that's a long time. Only because we are not with each other does not mean that we cannot celebrate Earth Day together. I want you guys to create a drawing of something that you love about the earth. Remember, God created the earth and he created so many things inside of it, right? You don't know what Earth Day is. Earth Day is a day that we celebrate on the 22nd of April every year. It helps bring awareness of the environment and how to care for nature, how we treat nature. We're talking about nature, we're talking about the animals, we're talking about the plants, we're talking about the trees. There's so many beautiful things outside that we get to see and that God created. But there's many things that you can do to help the environment. But for today, I want you guys to create something that you guys love about the environment. What is something that you love about nature? I know one of my one of my favorite things that I love about nature are the plants. I love plants. I'm not a cat lady, but I am a plant lady and I love plants. And one really big reason on why I love plants is because they're unique. They're different. There are plants from all different parts of the world that grow in different areas in different weathers and they grow in different times of the year. And when I think of plants, I think about us, right? Humans, people. And I see how God created us uniquely, just like how he did the plants. And I love growing and watching my plants grow. I want to show you some of my plants because it's Earth Day. I want to tell you a little bit about what I love about nature. This is my first plant. And if you can see, it's purple. So this plant is called, let's see, I have to see, Oxalis triangularis. Triangularis? Oxalis triangularis. I think I said that properly. That is the name of this plant and I think this plant is so unique because the leaves on this plant are triangular and it's purple and what's really cool about it is that this plant actually closes and opens during the day and it closes at night. Another plant that I have and that I love is called a Calithia mosaica and my husband calls this the Minecraft plant. And if you have played Minecraft before, you know that the world is created out of blocks, right? So this plant is unique and I love this plant as well because if you were to look at the petals on this plant, it has little squares on it, which is why my husband calls it the Minecraft plant. And we actually named this plant Steve, <laughs> which is really cool. My last plant that I'm going to show you is this one. And this one is probably my favorite plant because it's the most unique of all plants that I own. This plant is called a Begonia maculata. And this plant has polka dots on it. And on the back of the plant, it's red. And it's really cool. It's like a velvety red as, as the older it gets. It's a velvety red, and as you can see, there's one coming out right there, which is really cool. The reason why I showed you my plants was not just for me to just show you my plants, but I also wanted to share something that I love about nature because it's Earth Day. I wanted to share something that I love about nature. I'm going to grab a pencil, paper, and some coloring materials, and I'm going to draw something that I love about nature. So since I did share about my plants, I'm going to be drawing one of my plants. But you can draw anything that you like about nature. You can draw the ocean. You can draw yourself at the beach. You can draw yourself sitting outside on the grass. You can draw yourself looking at the star. You can draw yourself going on a bike in a trail. There's so many things that you can draw. It could even be you sitting in your backyard. If you want something to draw and with parent permission, if you're able, you can go outside into your backyard or your front yard and kind of look around. Are there any flowers that you can see in front of your house or in your backyard that are blooming? 
Are there any cool trees that you can see? How does the sky look? What are the cloud shapes right now? You could do that as well. When you're drawing, you're drawing on what you love about nature. If you can, with parent permission, try to see if you could go outside and sit down outside while you're drawing your drawing, maybe on a chair or outside on a blanket and just kind of sit out in the grass or on your patio. Something that you love about nature. And if you want to send me a picture and show it and share it with me, that would be awesome. And if you even want to record yourself telling me a little bit about what you like about nature, then that would be awesome as well. So let's get drawing. Because today is Earth Day, our video was a little different than it usually is for Wednesday since we didn't go over an element of art today, but we will next time. And I hope that you guys have a fantastic day and I hope to see some of your pictures if you would like to share them with me. Have a happy Earth Day today. That is it for today. I hope that you guys have a fantastic Earth Day today. I will see you tomorrow on, I will see you tomorrow Thursday. Bye.